Hey guys, my name is Cookie Clavesia. I'm Calvin. And we're doing our project on Marion Moore. Marion Moore. Marion Moore was born on November 15, 1887, and died February 5, 1972. She was a modernist American poet and writer noted for her irony and wit. Moore was born in Kirkwood, Missouri, in a man of the Presbyterian Church, where her maternal grandfather, John Riddle Warner, served as pastor. She was the daughter of a construction engineer and inventor John Milton Moore and his wife, Mary Warner. She grew up in her grandfather's household, her father having been committed to a mental hospital before her birth. In 1905, Moore entered Bryn Mawr College in Pennsylvania and graduated four years later. She taught at a Carlisle Indian Industrial School in Carlisle, Pennsylvania until 1915 when Moore began to publish. During her poetic career, she had extensive European travels before the First World War. Moore came to the attention of poets as diverse as Wallace Stevens, William Charles Williams, T.S. Eliot, and Ezra Pound. From 1925 until 1929, Moore served as an editor of the literary and cultural journal, The Dial. This continued her role similar to that of Pound as a patron of poetry, encouraging promising young poets, including Elizabeth Bishop, Allen Gisberg, John Ashbery, and James Merrill, and publishing early work as well as refining poetic technique. In 1933, Moore was awarded the Helen Hare Livingston Prize from Poetry. Her collected poems of 1951 is perhaps her most rewarded work. It earned the poet the Pulitzer Prize, the National Book Award, and the Bollingen Prize. Moore became a minor celebrity in New York literary circles, serving as unofficial hostess for the mayor. She attended boxing matches, baseball games, and other public events. Dressed in what became her signature garb, a tricorn hat and a black cape, she particularly liked athletics and athletes and was a great admirer of Muhammad Ali, for whose spoken word album, I Am The Greatest. She wrote liner notes Moore continued to publish poems in various journals, including The Nation, The New Republic, and The Partisan Review, as well as publishing various books and collections of her poetry and criticism. Moore corresponded for a time with W.H. Auden and Ezra Pound during the latter's incarceration. Later years, Marion Moore not long after throwing her first pitch in the 1968 season in Yankee Stadium, Moore suffered a stroke. She suffered a series of strokes thereafter and died in 1972. She was interred at Gettysburg's Evergreen Cemetery. Moore never married. Her living room has been preserved in its original layout in the collections of Rosenbach Museum and Library in Philadelphia. Her entire library, knickknacks, including a baseball sign by Mickey Mantle, all of her correspondence, photographs, and poetry drafts are available for public viewing. Marion Moore revised a great many of her early poems, including poetry in later life. These appeared in the complete poems of her book in 1967, after which critics tended to accept as canonical the elderly Moore's revisions of the exuberant texts of her own poetic youth. The simile editions of the theretofore out-of-print 1924 observations became available in 2002. Since that time, there has been no critical consensus about which versions are authoritative. In 1996, she was inducted into the St. Louis Walk of Fame. Instead of telling you guys what Marion Moore wrote, uh, we ran around campus and asked other students what's their favorite Marion Moore poem. Hey Bobby, huh? what's your uh, favorite um, Marion Moore poem? No, 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 not Mandy Moore, Marion Moore, the poem, no, poet. I don't, I don't know what it is. Yeah, do you guys know Marion Moore? Marion Moore? Marion Moore? Marion Moore? Marion Moore. 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 Marion Moore.
<laughs> What's your favorite Marianne Moore poem? Uh, my favorite Marianne poem is um, A Grave. What's your favorite Marianne Moore poem? Marianne Moore? I think my favorite of hers is uh, Marriage. I love Marianne Moore! <laughs> What is your favorite Mary Ann Moore poem? My favorite Mary Ann poem is poetry. Alright, I think I found another person to interview. Let's go. I heard someone come in the restroom. What's your favorite Marianne Moore poem? Well, uh, I'd say to a stream roller. Bobby, Bobby. I'm talking about the Marianne Moore. Ah, Marianne Moore. Yeah, Marianne Moore. Yeah, I read that book when I was in high school. My favorite Mary Moore poem is Rosemary. Ah, all right. Yeah. There's nothing like reading when there's time for a little mental exercise. And if you like poems you heard, then here's some other poems that you might enjoy. But you don't have to take my word for it. My name is Cookie Cavasia, and I'm here to read you one of Mary Ann Moore's poems called Arthur Mitchell. Slim dragonfly, too rapid for the eye to cage. Contagious gem of veracity. Make visible mentality, your jewels of mobility. Reveal and veal a peacock tail. Now, if you like one of Marianne Moore's poems, make sure you go to your library or bookstore to pick it up. Have a great day. What is your favorite Marianne Moore poem? My favorite Marianne poem is Poetry Fight. <laughs> Hey Bobby, what's your favorite uh, Marian Moore poem? Uh, Marian Moore. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, Marian Moore. Yeah, Marian Moore. I don't know. What, do I say? <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite Marian Moore poem? Marian Moore. I love Marian Moore. Oh, we didn't you're, see you're it. You're a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're way too anxious. Close. You're too oh anxious. God. Cookie, Hi, my name is Cookie, Clavisia. <laughs> so what about that Marianne Moore? So, 